After seeking more than $7 trillion to create a new AI chip project, Sam Altman seems to have given up this idea because we got an exclusive report a couple of days back from Reuters and it said that OpenAI has dropped building its own chip factory or chip foundry. Rather, what they are doing is they are partnering up with Broadcom and uh, TSMC. If you do not know TSMC, probably everything that is running on this world has uh, been touched by TSMC. This is the Taiwanese semiconductor manufacturing unit. So if there is an impact in Taiwan, you can be very sure that there's going to be a global shortage of chips, the chips that are used inside your computers, not the chips that you eat like potato chips. So OpenAI is working with Broadcam, um, TSMC to build its first in-house chip designed to support AI systems. Because primarily what is happening in the chip industry, if you know, is that NVIDIA has been a huge, huge dominator. I mean, it's, it's a no brainer to know that, you know, the NVIDIA's uh, domination, because if you see last five years, NVIDIA stock has grown 27,000 percentage, 27,000 percentage. That's like 20 times increase of a stock, a stock that was somewhere around $5 in 2019. It is $141. And why did this happen? This happened because NVIDIA early on betted on something called accelerated computing that helps computers do uh, parallel processing and multiple other things, primarily focused on gaming industry. But now, thanks to AI and also machine learning and deep learning, that NVIDIA's computers are extremely useful. And then came along PyTorch and other deep learning libraries that were optimized for NVIDIA. So there is a huge reliance on NVIDIA for this kind of industry. So what OpenAI wants to do is, hey, boss, I like Jensen Huang, but I don't want to only use Jen, Jen, Jensen Huang's chips. So they want to diversify it. That's how they are making partnership with uh, Broadcom, um, TSMC, NVIDIA, AMD. I mean, AMD still exists, huh? Just, just see that. So now this is what they're going to do. And uh, instead of uh, raising $7 trillion, as you can see here, to create their own chip foundries where they can make chips, they are using this partnership to make these chips. This is a very interesting time this news has come up. Uh, it's not an official news, it's just like a report from Reuters. Why it is important? It is very important because at this time, we don't have information about GPT-5. In fact, there are some rumors that maybe it is not being trained. And if you see Claude 3.5 Opus, we don't have Claude 3.5 Opus. Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the first version was launched long back. Claude 3.5 Sonnet new version came along recently, but we don't have any information about Opus. But when it comes to company like Google, they have got extensive chip within themselves. Uh, one, they use, of course, NVIDIA chips, but also they've got their own TPUs, tensor processing unit. So Google is like one of these companies that are not heavily, heavily reliant on uh, NVIDIA. So it makes sense for OpenAI to double down on this particular space, especially given that there are rumors that OpenAI and Microsoft might not have the best relation possible. So. It's an interesting news. It's a, it's a great news, uh, especially uh, as somebody who is always looking forward to see alternatives in the uh, chip industry for NVIDIA. If uh, OpenAI manages to do this thing, then it'll be good. But I'm not sure if they're going to release any kernels that will be optimized for AMD for everybody to use it. But at least for OpenAI, I think this will spice up the competition so that they can uh, put up with uh, companies like Google who have got their own in-house tensor processing units. Let me know what you think, but otherwise, a uh, Taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company is going to benefit a lot with this thing. See you in another video. Happy prompting.